you to it's oh shit okay it took it a little minute to load up my bad my bad but what's going on youtube it's your boy ogtma and me aka the main event and today we got the hot tub girl quit her job i think it's because that tiktok yep by the boy maury never heard of him my bad if he's a big known youtube never heard of him me personally but um yeah and today yeah if y'all don't know the tiktok girl that gotta give him that hot tub and spit on that thing then you're missing out because that shit was funny but it is relatable um yeah all right being said let's get started with the video Yee I've been dropped out of school for like a year or two. Okay, mm -hmm. so this was like... I don't quit my job. I said peace. <laughs> so you're telling me the hot tour girl getting that interview was like a lucky break for her because she was already a floundering college dropout who didn't know what the hell she was doing out here aside from partying and drinking and smoking and you know, what else. Like, holy shit. Who knew you could turn your life around by making the sound effect of a knob schlobinator 5000 in an interview? Now is like you're going to go to LA, you're going to go to New York. Oh, yeah. Do you think you see yourself like starting your own type of like show or podcast or are you just going to be like an internet personality? I think we're going to do like a show and then we're just going to be like on a bunch of podcasts and everything else in between. So you're telling me now she's going to go to LA, one of the most expensive cities in the world and try and create her own show, podcast, YouTube channel and all that. I mean, go for it, girl. If you want to try out this content creation stuff, if you think you're entertaining enough, go for it. But as far as I can tell, the only thing remarkable about you is you have a special talent for making a motherfucker seize up by not stopping in a parent. Hey, we're not going to skip past like you ain't just do it. <laughs> you ain't just slid that one in there. He said, he's been remarkable. <laughs> I ain't even let him finish. But let's see what he was going to say. Only thing remarkable about you is you have a special talent for making a motherfucker seize up by not stopping in, apparently. Oh. And this is no diss to conservatives and Republicans, but I mean, my God, are these people obsessed with you? I, I just, did you guys know that she actually got flewed out to a country rock concert just to say hock to her? Like, what in the ever living fuck of a timeline am I living in? Figuring out as you go. Oh, yeah, there's more to come. Don't worry. There's oh, well, more yeah. to come. Like, she has the whole team <laughs> It's so right. crazy. It happened. The internet is insane. Your oh, life yeah. changed overnight. It really did. Yeah. For sure. Are, are people coming out of the woodworks now like what are your friends back home like are they treating you differently are they like being bitches about it or are they they're like really supportive oh, like, good. i've had maybe one or two that have had some nasty comments about it because the, the comments i've got from it i don't even know these people but i know they're like from my area mm -hmm. but all the mamas and all my friends and everything else that know me personally they've attacked that ass let me just tell you <laughs> it's just been I couldn't, I can't even tell you. That's crazy, man. Her life really changed overnight. From a random YouTuber doing street interviews at night about how you can satisfy your guy, and she just comes out of the woodworks with a hot to and becomes an instant mm -hmm. sensation overnight. Listen, I personally don't understand the meme like I do, but at the same time, I don't. Like, I get that guys are horny, and a lot of dudes will clamor at any type of validation from a girl flexing about her slobinator skills, but here's the thing. I didn't, I didn't realize it would go this far. Why is this a cultural phenomenon? Why did this really go that viral? Like, like there are so many other things that could have gone viral in 2024 but turns out some blonde skinny white chick who comes out and says give him that hock tour like where does she even come up with that phrase how does she even decipher the sound effect of i'm sorry that sounds i know you did not just try to reenact that oh nigga no and the reason why i went so viral is because for one she obviously know what she doing with her craft. If she 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 gave that that notion right there, and two, like you said, a horny niggas and it's relatable. I'm trying to get, I'm trying to see what that be like. You know what I'm saying? God damn them. But I do digress. Anything else could have went viral, but she went viral, so. But bro, clearly this woman is gonna be a one-hit wonder. I'm sorry. I may sound like a pain, but bro, the only talent she has is hot to win people being goofy as hell with that southern accent. Like, I mean it's kinda cute. I like that accent she has going on. Very charismatic. She's very bubbly and smiley. I like that in a girl. But here's the thing. After a while, that whole gimmick is gonna get stale and people are gonna move on. So if she really wants to capitalize on all the fame, on all the glory, and she really wants to turn this into a career and have longevity in the game, I mean maybe she should capitalize on the moment and uh start hot to and live on set. What do you mean by that? Listen, I I didn't mean that. Let me, let me, sorry. Let me stop with the degradation. Let me stop with the objectification. I'm better than that. I'm a good man, a God fearing, Christ loving father of two. Hold up, y'all. What would you say?
You said what? Um, we can. I'm all. I'm almost done with the second one anyway. So yeah. But yeah, just pull up. I'll you know. You want me to bring um change the clothes or? All right, bet bet. My bad, y'all. Some plans going on. I'm finna go hoop after this, literally. So, yeah. Let's keep going. My bad. But what do you say? Didn't mean that. Let me let me start. Put a lies on the moment and uh start hawk two and live on set. What do you mean? By that? Listen, I didn't mean that. Let me let me sorry. Let me stop with the degradation. Let me stop with the objectification. I'm better than that. I'm a good man, a God fearing, yeah. Christ loving, father of two and a husband of one. I should not be saying that. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding for all the Bible thumping Christian folk who are gonna come with the pitchforks and torches in my comment section telling me how awful I am. I'm sorry for possibly giving this woman a way out of not being broke after this. I don't know. If she does this podcast thing and it works out, kudos to her. Maybe she knows how to do other things with her mouth aside from hawk to winning, spitting on that thing. Oh my god, that is so cringe. Holy shit, why did I just yeah. say that? Anyway, let me know your thoughts and opinions down below about this. Honestly, this is one of the dumbest memes to come out of 2024 for me personally. I just Hey, that's what that's his opinion. My opinion, I thought it was funny. That's just my opinion. I thought it was funny and re relatable to certain dudes, you know. But yeah, this was a this was a funny, good, you know, simple video. Um, yeah, I'm sorry for y'all for not uploading for two days straight. You know, like I said in the last few few videos, a lot been going on, but I'm still try to post and be consistent for y'all. Love y'all. I want to grow with y'all 2300 subscribers i promise you coming out with long vlogs in case i don't you know do this and i just be chilling without that being said this boy ogt man signing out you did